Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Charleston. As y'all are hopping on, say hi. I want to talk about all things couples, all things blended families. Um, and so if you are a part of a blended family, drop the word blended in the comments below. Something's going on with my throat. Um, and it's just freaking killing me. But anyways, good morning, you guys. If you're even up this early, if you are up, say good morning. I'm sitting in front of the gym as always. Every single morning, by the way, if you're new here, drop new in the comments because I go live mostly every single morning I try to like at least three to four mornings out of the week uh before I go into the gym to kind of give you like a little kick in the earth okay to get your ass moving okay it's really important to move your body every single day so if you're watching this right now and you're contemplating going to the gym or going for that walk or moving your body I promise you it'll be worth it and you'll thank yourself later so get up and move your body today okay so uh, before I get into this little rant that I have to talk about, okay, uh, before I do that, I want you guys to tap the share button and share it out because number one, it's going to bring a ton of value, I believe, to your life if you're in a relationship um, or if you're a, a part of a blended family. Um, and type in the comments word shared because I'll put your name into a giveaway. But also, I cannot change the world by myself, so I definitely need your help. So, hi, Tanya. Hi, Chelsea. Some of the comments I can't really see. Uh, I think if you drop an emoji in the comments, I definitely can. So, give me like a heart or something so I can see how that works. So, anyways, Eric and I are going on a couple's retreat. Um... I don't know. We're just going, we're going to an island this weekend and I'm really freaking excited. Daisy, I see that comment. Good morning. Hello. I, maybe I, I'm missing comments or maybe I'm not because y'all aren't commenting. I don't know. Anyways, we're going on this couple's retreat. And when I tell you, you guys, I'm going to tell you all about a uh, little bit about Eric. My mouth is just not freaking working today. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit of the story about Eric and I, um, kind of like how our, our family became about uh, and hopes that you guys relate to this, right? So I, I always am just striving to reach more people that I relate to, that I like, that like me, that also like that we can actually create a genuine connection, right? Through social media. So hi, Carol. Hi, Selena. Y'all tap the share button, please. And thank you and share it out and put in the comments the word share so I can put your name to the giveaway. All right. I need to drink some of these ketones because for real though, I can't even think straight. Um, so this weekend we're going on, on a trip. So Eric and I, let me just start by telling y'all a little bit about our story. And if you relate to this at all, you can just drop we're late in the comments below uh but better yet if you are in a relationship just drop me because i need to know who this is going to actually impact um I, I i got a lot of stuff okay we've been together for only three years but i'm telling you right now i got a lot of i got a lot of knowledge up in this noggin all right uh hi jessica hi jeremiah what's up you guys good morning if you're not starting your day with something that gives you energy, mo mental clarity, and focus. Let me help you out. Drop help in the comments. Okay. Eric and I, when we were 16 years old, we dated. And I don't know if anybody knows that, but um, we did. We dated when we were 16 years old. At that time, our life was very chaotic. Like, we didn't have parents in our life that, like, actually, like, not that we didn't have parents in our life. Like, we had parents in our life, but, like, we pretty much just did whatever we wanted. It was chaotic all the time. Hey, babe. Um, just so many different things was going on in our life when we were 16 years old. Like crazy stuff, right? I actually moved out of my house when I was 16 and I moved in with Eric at that time. Um, and so anyways, we ended up, we were dating for like maybe a year and then we just broke up and it wasn't chaotic. Well, it kind of was chaotic actually, cause I don't tell y'all this story often. I can't, I can't, I don't even know if I've ever told this story, but when Eric and I broke up, this man, okay, <laughs> he had a big ass Ford Ranger. Uh, it was blue. I will never forget this truck, okay? But he had this big ass truck, and I had this like hanky danky, like little Jeep Cherokee, okay? And so when we broke up, I went to leave his house, and we had like promise rings at the time. I don't know. We were just such such kids, okay? Anybody else have a promise ring? Drop yes in the comments. Hi Amanda. Hi Tanisha. I'm sorry. Hi Tashina. Hi Allison. Hi Madison tap the share button, share it out. And so anyways, <coughs> when we broke up, we threw, I don't know, maybe he threw his ring at me. I threw mine at him. I don't even remember at the, like, honestly, I don't remember. Uh, and then I walk outside and I was getting in my Jeep, my little Jeep Cherokee to go bye-bye. Okay. Cause we just had broken off and, uh, he followed me in his truck and literally, uh, ran into my, ran into my Jeep, like literally ran into my Jeep. Okay. So that was probably the only I don't know. When I think back to our relationship when we were 16 years old, how long have you been with your significant other? You, you can tell me that in the comments. But when I think back to that moment or that time of our lives, 
it didn't feel chaotic to me because I've been in very toxic relationships with narcissists and people who were like slit their wrists in front of me and breaking, you know, you know, stabbing my tires and all kinds of crazy shit. But for, for, for some reason, I don't re remember feeling like that relationship with him when we were 16 was chaotic. So anyways, whatever, right? We broke up. That was the end of that. He slammed my door, broke my window. Now listen, he was also a 16 year old boy and we were going through a lot of emotions. So he's not crazy. All right. He ain't crazy. I promise you. All right. Amy said nine years. I love it. Hi, Laura. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Ashley. Y'all tap the share button, share it out. There's some value coming. Eric and I are going on a getaway this weekend and oh my God. Okay. So anyways, uh, we broke up. Y'all, for 10 years, for 10 years, I did not see this man. We did not talk. And does anybody else have a husband or a man that just doesn't do social media? Drop yes in the comments if you do. Daisy said eight years. I love it. Like, he was not anywhere to be found. Like, he had Facebook, but, like, I, and I always remember for, like, this whole 10 years, I was like, if I could get back with anybody, I would definitely take him back because so many reasons um but i just like adored him so much and i still obviously do because that's why we're here ashley thanks for sharing babe i appreciate you so much i put your name into the giveaway and i do it every single week so you watch my stories to see if you win by the way um and so i didn't see him or anything we didn't talk we i didn't even know what was going on he was in a relationship i did know that i knew he was in a relationship uh with someone and was very committed okay so i i already knew that like i was praying actually on on the on the downfall not really praying on the downfall not like that like i wasn't actually anyways doesn't matter we didn't talk to see each other for 10 freaking years okay and now listen if you don't believe in destiny i don't even know what to tell you if you don't believe in fate i don't know what to tell you our relationship and our family now today being a and by the way if you're a blended family a part of one drop blended in the comments okay 13 years three kids amber said daisy thank you for sharing i appreciate that so much good morning um devin so then I'm going to tell you how we reconnected, okay? Because this is a pretty freaking cool story. And I honestly just believe that if you're in the thick of it right now in your life, drop a heart in the comments if you feel like you're just in the freaking thick of it. Maybe you're in a bad relationship. Maybe you're in no relationship. Maybe you're single. Maybe, like, I'm just telling you that your life has a path that it's taking. And you don't even know. You don't know of it, right? I still don't even know the path that my life is taking right now. But I do know that part of it was Eric and I not talking for 10 years so that we could become the people that we needed the most for each other to reconnect. Because it's so crazy how that happened. A lot of blended families, okay? Hi, Madison. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Thank you for sharing this out. I love you guys. Appreciate you so much. Okay, so one um i'm trying to figure out how to start this reconnection story okay so amber do y'all know amber drop a yes in the comments if so if drop no if you don't because if you've been around for a while you probably know my bestie amber okay uh so i saw her on my facebook one day it was the weirdest shit this is what i'm telling you like fate and destiny i'm or it's it's really real okay drop the word fate in the comments if you believe in it okay i saw her on my facebook page one time <laughs> now this was literally for almost probably almost five years ago i sent her a message because i saw that she was still with the same dude she was with eric's little brother that she was with 10 years prior so i messaged her and i was like oh my god i can't believe y'all are still together that's so crazy how are you doing just simply reconnecting with her at this time i was doing my 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 i was doing the business that i'm doing right now okay hi candace hi melissa Hi, Meg. And I was posting, uh, drinking the ketones, posting about the business, doing my normal thing, right? And of course, like she saw that. And that's just how attraction marketing actually does work. You, you just naturally connect with people and then they ask you what you're doing. And that's why I love what I do. And if you want to know more about making money from your phone, drop a dollar sign in the comments below. Okay. I'm not, no BS, no BS for real. So anyways, she messaged me back after we had reconnected and she was like hey what are you doing and so anyway she got on ketones she joined the business um she now makes six figures also same as me multiple six figures a year um which i'm so freaking proud of her and so we were hanging out every single weekend like we were just being besties okay hanging out doing our thing i would hang out with her and eric's little brother and uh we would go to this specific bar called montrose if you're local to charleston then you know probably exactly what i'm talking about so we would go to montrose hi jasmine hi sierra you guys if you're watching this right now just do me a favor tap the share button share it out and comment the word shared especially if you're in a relationship because i think this is going to bring a lot of value to your life and a lot of value to the people who are watching on your social media so share it out type in the comments word shared i also put your name into a giveaway um 
And one night we were at Montrose at this bar, or no, we were going to Montrose. We were going to this bar and Amber said to me, Eric's coming, him and so-and-so broke up. And mind you, he had been in a relationship for literally like nine years. They were together. They had two kids, Amberly and Noah. Um, and it was just like a very committed relationship. He also was going through a very, um, toxic phase in his life where he became, a, um, a, now I won't say raging alcoholic, um, because he wasn't like, um, violent or anything like that but he was like very deep into alcoholism okay hi sierra hi amy hi audrey hi linda y'all say hello say good morning in the comments so he was in this relationship and uh when she said that i was like oh my god so they broke up and he was coming out with his brother and i was going out with amber and we were all like just connecting there was a group of us right there was just a group of us just hanging out and going to this bar and so um the first night that i saw him again after 10 years you guys was so different because number one we both looked entirely different he was um in the process of losing weight that he had gained through drinking and alcoholism um and so he was very different he, his face was completely shaved um he uh, he just looked so different. And then I had purple hair. I had short purple hair. Do y'all remember that? Drop OG in the comments if y'all remember remember my purple hair. Hi, Geraldine. Hi, Chad. Hi, Aaron. What is up, you guys? Good morning. Okay. And so we just looked so different. But I'm telling you, like, the connection part, like, it's like sparks were flying. No, for real, though. Like, I was in a relationship with my sperm donor, the, my, my baby daddy at that time, okay? And I was committed to trying to make it work for my family. How many of you guys have ever been through a toxic relationship that you have kids with? Somebody you have kids with, and you try to just make it work? Drop me in the comments, okay? Because I know you relate to me on that matter. And so um we we were there was no like romantic anything right so we were just all hanging out but we were laughing together i have a boomerang of eric and i have uh, y'all watch my stories drop a yes in the comments if you do if you watch my stories you probably have seen it um but i posted my stories ever so often a boomerang of us that somebody took of us and i'm just like i'm like giggling at him okay this is the first night that we reconnect after 10 years of no contact at all and I'm giggling at him. And so one thing about Eric and I, even when we were 16 years old, is we've always laughed. That is like the, if you were ever around us in person, you were going to laugh. Okay. Not just because like we're funny because we are funny, but like because just genuinely like we're, I don't know. It's just like who we are as people, right? Hi, Amanda. Is anybody else like that? So anyways, uh, that was the first night. And then after that, like, I think we had added each other on Facebook, whatever. And then like, he was texting me. We were trying to, I like, think he was obviously trying to like reconnect, reconnect with me. And I was in the middle of trying to make my relationship and make my family work. If you've ever been in a situation where you are trying to make your family work, I'm telling you right now, no, you should never have to make the family work now you're gonna go through hardships and stuff but i'll get to that in a minute because we we've, we've been going through some stuff right actually 14 years of my abusive ex oh linda horrible ted Lori, good morning y'all say good morning hi caitlin <clears throat> and then share it out if you feel like this is bringing you value okay so anyways um uh, i told him i texted him back and i was like you know i'm actually trying to make make it work with my baby daddy i don't even know what i said but i pretty much said i'm trying to make it work with my baby daddy trying to make this thing work i like i just i can't do any i i can't do this right i can't like engage in activities with you sadly okay i didn't say sadly but i said that and so i also wanted to have not just respect for myself but i wanted to have respect for him and i think i knew mentally in my brain that like i i don't even know what i knew i don't even know what i thought <clears throat> but i think uh, maybe two months passed and at that time um, him, he started, my best friend started like going after him and he was just very vulnerable at that time. So I'm not going to blame him. Um, but anyways, so a couple months passed by, I was trying to make my relationship work with this deadbeat who just could not get his shit together. Um, hi Allie. Hi Jerica. And finally we broke it off. Okay. So I broke it off. I became very, uh, transparent through social media. Again, drop OG in the comments. If y'all remember this phase of my life, because some of you are so new, if you're new, drop new. If you don't remember that phase, drop new in the comments. Okay. I want to see how many of you guys are new and how many of you guys have been around for a while because I know that the algorithm changes and so a lot of new people are seeing my stuff but a lot of old people are not um that's why I ask you guys to share it out so to reach more people so anyways um I finally was like very voice voicing that I was single on my social media and he was on my Facebook and so at that time I think we just started talking and and then I started going and hanging out with Amber um more and and he was always there and and so anyways it just happened the second time that I hung out was um when I was not in a relationship and it was just so like <sighs> 
oh my god y'all we were so like drunk in love have y'all ever felt that feeling of of being with somebody and just feeling so intoxicated by them you can drop a yes in the comments if so because that's kind of like what it was for us for honestly the first couple of years of our relationship and now don't get me wrong we're still very much so in love with each other um but let me get into this part too we are a blended family okay Brooke, I am still friends with Amber. Yes, we are besties. We do business together. Uh, we make multiple six figures together. I, we have the same vision. We, we, we are very much so still connected. Okay. We also went through a period of time, which I'll tell you guys in another live. Um, I was there a little while before you were pregnant with Callie. Lori, I appreciate your following. Um, hi, Christy. Hi, Audrey. Again, y'all share it out. Type in the comments for share. Okay. So, um, now, okay, hold on. Now, <clears throat> we have been together for three years, okay? When we got together, I already had Gabriel, which he's six now. Um, I like to hear that. Yes, I love it. Hi, Brianna. Thank you so much. So, uh, I haven't even washed my face this morning, so thank you. My husband and I still have that butterfly and love feeling. I love that, Daisy. That's literally... I love it so much. Um, so, I had Gabe. He's six now. And then he had Emberly and Noah. Noah is eight. Uh, did he turn nine? No, Noah's eight, and then Emberly is, um, Emberly is six, so Gabe and Emberly are six, and then we both, after being together for like six months, we had, we got pregnant with Callie, okay, so it was very quick, but I knew, if life is gonna hold, and listen, again, I'm telling you guys, I'm bringing you value, you better tap that share button and share this out, because this is gonna reach somebody that really needs to hear it, it's gonna reach somebody that's in a very toxic relationship, who's trying to make it work, who doesn't know if they should let it go, or keep trying, and that is the most important part of this, is I want you to understand, if you're watching this, from somebody sharing it out, you need to understand, if you're trying to force something to work it is not going to work if you're trying to force somebody to treat you better it's not going to work if you're trying to force somebody to be a good parent to your kids it is not going to work okay so please share it out type in the comments where shared because that message alone needs to reach so many people it's insane i wasted four years of my life with somebody who didn't give a shit about me they were so selfish and so self-driven that nothing mattered except for their feelings and that's called a narcissist okay and now being with somebody who loves me unconditionally like you don't understand the difference in somebody that loves you and doesn't love you until you find somebody who does love you and the person in your life right now who doesn't love you is taking up space where the person who is going to love you needs to be okay put some flame emojis amber i love it i love the energy flame emojis in the comments okay and i can't really yell a lot i can't get loud like i want to because my throat is just killing me okay but anyways now we have been together for three years we have four kids and i don't know if you guys again if you're just hopping on drop blended in the comments if you are part of a blended family and you know because i need to understand i need to know who understands my struggle in this and it's not just my struggle it's like eric and i both it all of a sudden just felt feels like it just got hard with all four of our kids. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, if it's like an age thing, um, or if it's just like them not really bonding, but it's like we get Emberly and Noah every other Thursday for an entire week. So we get them essentially two weeks out of the month, okay? One week on, one week off. That's how we get them. And it is, the dynamics of our family are so, it's so difficult because they go away for a week, it's just Gabe and Callie, so they obviously get more attention. They come back, they obviously get less attention, and it's just like a constant battle with all of them. They're always arguing. It's always a lot. It's always stressful. It's always yelling. It's always loud and chaotic, and I understand that I'm going to miss it, okay? I know there's going to be people in here saying, soak it up. You're going to miss it, right? How many of you guys have ever heard that about your kids? Drop me in the comments. If somebody has ever said that to you, you're going to miss this. I understand that. I know I'm going to miss it, but it's hard. And so with that being said, Eric and I are going on a couple's retreat trip this weekend. Literally, it's only going to be for two days. I wish it was longer. We're going on a retreat this weekend. And when I tell you that I can't even put into words how excited we are. We used to do this probably a couple years ago. Well, probably like honestly last year, we were going on trips pretty often when we were doing um, OF. And, um, and so anyways, we were doing it pretty often. And I think it's really important for you to also understand that if you're in a relationship and you have kids, how important this alone time is. Would you guys agree with that? Drop by agree in the comments if you would agree. Like, like literally how important is it? 
to spend alone time with your scene. I don't mean sitting down at the end of the night watching TV, okay? Amber, hello, good morning. You guys, are y'all sharing this out? Type in the comments the word tap. Type in the comments the word shared if you are. Thank you. Please and thank you. I love y'all. After 20 years of a crappy marriage, I found real love and I am loved unconditionally. Oh my God, I love that so much. Amber said she, she agrees. So alone time is so important. So anyways, we're going to go to Hilton Head Island. Y'all know where that's at? Um, it's hard to find time Daisy. Yes, it really is. It's so hard. So we have to obviously pay our nanny to um, Keep the kids and we have to do it on the weekend when we don't have all four of the kids So it's definitely not something that's super easy to do, right? Like you have to account the financial part of it You've got to account um, and thank God. Thank God that I work for my phone and I make the money that I do but also that he is Working a job that he loves where he's also able to kind of critique his schedule as well because I, we wouldn't financially be able to do this if it wasn't for the income that I that I make, essentially, um, and that we also make together. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Valerie. Good morning. I love Hilton Head, too, at Amber. Hi, Sheila. Y'all say good morning in the comments. And uh, anyways, so just really grateful for this opportunity. And if y'all have ever watched any of my lives talking about business and my story when it comes to going from being a felon and cleaning houses to now being a verified six figure earner, walking stages, changing people's lives. I just really tell that story all the time. Every time I'm live, I mention it because I, I don't want to miss an opportunity to help people have, have the life change that I have had. So again, I've been doing this for four years and I work for my phone, um, one product, one company, I do one thing and I make multiple six figures. So if you want to know more about that, let's just have a conversation. You can drop a dollar sign in the comments below, um, and everything is linked in the bio. Okay. Um, so anyways, we're really excited about this weekend, um, because it's just been really stressful. And I'm going to tell you right now when you not even just a blended family, but just when you have kids in general and you're in a relationship with the person that you have kids with. Uh, and you guys can, can tell me in the comments if you agree to this, it's, it takes a really big toll on your relationship. How many of you guys have ever gotten an, 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 how many of you guys have ever gotten in an argument with your significant other because of the stress of the kids? Drop me in the comments. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Brent. And I mean, like you've gotten into like just a tiff with each other because the kids are screaming, the house is dirty, there's stuff going all around, the kids are battling with each other, and then you start arguing with each other over who left the bread out, who left the bread unwrapped, who left the food out on the counter, like, you know, and it's just crazy as stupid shit, right, drop me in the comments, Britt, thank you so much for that, like, it's just crazy, so I'm telling you right now that if you feel like you're in a, if you feel like you're with the love of your life that you have kids with, and you're like, but we're really like in a tiff, you need to go have alone time, not just sitting down watching TV together at the end of the night, but you probably need to go on a, on a trip. Remember why you fell in love with each other. Okay. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I hope that whatever I said on this live is going to help somebody, um, is going to help somebody. So thank you guys for sharing it out. I do appreciate when you guys do that so much. It helps me reach more people and it's helping me change the world. So if you want to help me change the world, tap the share button, comment the word shared. I put your name into a giveaway and you watch my stories every Saturday to see if you win. And it's pretty freaking cool. You can win some free ketones. Okay. So I would highly recommend that you do that. Uh, I'm about to go into the gym. I have yoga at nine. So that's in a, like an hour and a half. So I'm not, uh, my upper body is so sore. So I'm actually just going to go, um, do the treadmill and then warm up my core before I have yoga and then go to my yoga class. And then we have calls today. Um, and then I'm going to be getting ready for our trip tomorrow. Cause we're going to come to the gym first thing in the morning, work out and then immediately leave. Like I am so excited. If you guys are excited for me, drop excited for you in the comments. Hi Kayla. Hi Adriana. Hi Vicky. So, um, get up today move your body this is your morning motivation to move how many of you guys are on a fitness journey drop me in the comments or fitness drop fitness in the comments um it's so important to especially on the days that you don't want to do it to go do it so get up today move your body literally amber thank you so much uh, move your body you will think yourself longer terry good morning hi Hi, Jessica. Heather, thank you. 
So, um, yeah, get up today, move your body. If you need some energy, focus, mental clarity, you want to try some ketones, okay? That's going to help you burn your body's fat. Drop help in the comments. I'll send you uh, details. I'm excited for you. I got to see Chris Stapleton. I get to see <gasps> a Daisy. That's amazing. Uh, I love it so much. Okay, so love you guys. Appreciate you. Morning motivation to get up, move your body today. Drink your ketones for energy and focus and to curb your appetite. And then if you need help, everything's linked in the bio. Um, I'm really excited about this. But I just want to hop on here and kind of tell the story of Eric and I because I think that it's going to help a lot of people. And so if you're watching this, just share it. Just share it out. I know I'll be begging y'all. Please! <laughs> no, because that's just like a, another way for me to, to reach more people. And it's really important to, to me to do that and also i'm sorry that my mouth is just not working correctly today i don't know what's going on um and then also something's wrong with my throat so love you thank you don't judge these glasses i gotta get some better glasses for real anyways pit tickets i love that daisy so excited for you Terry, thank you for sharing. Amber, love your story. True love. Thank you so much, but really have so much fun. Y'all deserve it. Thank you, Daisy. Yeah, that's really also, um, y'all know that story. There's a rumor go around about me and you stirring up our little town. Oh. Okay, that song, I sound like shit, okay? Um, that song, I feel like is our song because we come from a very small town that we still live in and we're just, I don't know. I don't know. I just love us. You know, we've had problems. We've had a lot of problems. There's a lot of shit we've had to get through in the past three years. But when I tell you that I would not, I, I would not rather, what am I trying to say? I would not want to do these problems with anybody else ever. And drop a heart in the comments if you guys feel the same way about your relationship. Like we've been through some shit, but I don't want to go through this shit with anybody else. I love this man more than I can even put into words. He is such a good dad. He is such a kind. It's just like the type of person that he is. Like he's such a good person. Like he's so kind and he's always thinking about me. Let me give you guys an example. Okay. I didn't even, I should have said this in the beginning and I really need to get off of here and go work out. But like literally he Last night I was in the shower and this is something, it's, it's really the little thing. So if you're a man watching this, ladies, again, share it out and put it on your page. Okay. Tap the share button. If you're a man watching this, it really is the little things. Okay. Somebody can like screen record this and like send it to their man. I was in the shower last night calling Eric and I was like, babe, I needed a towel because like I didn't have a towel in the bathroom. I was like, babe. This man comes in there with a washcloth because I use a washcloth every single time I take a shower. A new one, right? He came in there with a towel and a washcloth. He said, which one of these do you need? Like, already new. It's just the little things. It is the little things. Do you guys agree with that if you're a woman on here? It just is like the little, and even as a man, right? If you're a man watching this, would you agree with that? Like, when the, when your woman does, like, little tiny things, like, packs your lunch or, um, I don't know. Like, little things that she doesn't have to do. So it's just like the little things that this man is just like the kindest, most genuine person I've ever met. I love him so deeply. It's insane. Um, and if we don't work out for the rest of our lives, I promise you right now, I'm never dating another person ever in my life. So the Rasta is closed, but anyways, um, love y'all so much. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks for chatting with me. I hope you guys get up, move your body today. I hope you find the love of your life. I hope you understand that if you're with somebody who doesn't appreciate you and see the value inside of you, that you make the decision to leave them. Uh, you're wasting your precious, precious life away. Trying to make somebody see your value, trying to make somebody see your worth and it's not worth it. Leave. Okay. Share it out so somebody else can hear that message. Type in the comments the word shared if you want to be entered into the giveaway. Mows the lawn. Daisy, I love that so much, right? So anyways, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys live tomorrow. Bye.